What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Blockhash podcast channel. Let's talk crypto. Today, we're going to talk about the Ethereum chart. And we're going to look at the coin. We're going to look at where ETH is heading uh, now that we got all this chaos in the market. It's been a while since I did an Ethereum video, so want to kind of highlight where we're at. And it's not too bad, if we're being completely honest. Uh, before we do, make sure to check out our sponsor, Pika Crypto. Uh, go down into the description below to check out their community their website, all their information, and learn more about how they are revolutionizing the intersection between crypto and blockchain. If you are watching this on Patreon, congrats, you're getting this on day one. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, you're getting this a day after the fact, at least a day after the fact. So um, yeah, guys, be sure to subscribe to Patreon to get up-to-date chart analysis Monday through Friday. All right, so looking at Ethereum, we're going to zoom in on this on the one-day all right, so back at the beginning of the week, you know, we were trending in the right direction, hitting the top of this funnel. Maybe we're going to break through, but we didn't. We collapsed back down, mainly because of the FUD of the SEC going after Binance and Coinbase. So we pulled back. Surprisingly, we didn't crash yet. Is that in the books? No, I don't know yet. It's still possible that we could get a downswing from here and something negative could happen or we just come back up. All right, anything is possible at this point. It's really hard to tell when there's a lot of FUD and volume moving around. A lot of Bitcoin and ETH have been pulled from exchanges, especially in the last couple of days, billions of dollars worth. Um, but the sell volume is not there to justify a massive sell off. Neither is the buy volume. So something again will have to break at some point. It's been very boring all of May and now into June. You know, the last big move that we had was very beginning of May, all right, so a month ago. But we've been essentially in our zone here. God, you could even argue back to early April, late March. You know, we haven't been able to get outside of 1780 to 2000. And if we have, not for very long. We've popped over, come back down, popped under, come back up over, down, down, up. And we have an inflection zone that we keep tapping on that we can't break through. It's starting to trend uphill. Those are good signs. Um, our long-term trend line, we have not come back down to retest, but we're getting closer and closer. If this continued out, we'd probably hit it sometime in August. So that is another possibility to keep in mind. Looking at the moving average, one of the biggest things to keep an eye on is the 100 day and 200 day on the 100 day we're tapping and staying above which is good news and the 200 day we're still well above so we're safe on that uh, the others we're just writing right now but it's ide ideally starting to show a bit of a flip potentially to the upside we're getting closer to that um, we've tapped on that bollinger band we didn't quite break up we're right at the moving average we didn't fully break down we wicked down to the bollinger band but we didn't hold it. So this is more bullish than it is bearish, in my opinion, at least in the short term. Uh, so I think we're looking pretty good with Ethereum. If we zoom out to the weekly, look, where, where did that come from? Let's, let's delete that. Let's delete this random thing. Or is that something else? Oh, okay. Not a line. Um, I apologize for all the lines, guys. They're just important. But we are we are fine. We are stabilizing around this crucial ceiling that we've had a hard time getting through. Um, and that's a good sign. When we're hovering just below that ceiling, we're likely to pop out of it at some point, whether that's sooner rather than later or towards the end of the summer going into the fall. Eventually, we got to come out of this box. Can't stay in the box forever. But the longer we do, the more bullish we're looking for a massive jump. And if we do, it's wide open. We have a huge liquidity gap to pull up to above $3,000, closer to $3,400. $3,400. So on the RSI, we are just hovering below the moving average. So we're still fine there on the weekly. 
Um, on the daily, we are below it, but we haven't pulled the moving average down, which is a good sign. So I like where we're at with Ethereum. I don't think that this is going to come much lower. The only thing that could drive it lower is if Bitcoin, for some reason, starts selling off. But we've had sell-off fatigue over the last year in regards to Bitcoin and crypto. So I just don't see that continuing. Now, Bitcoin is still kind of in a downward trend here, kind of opposite to what Ethereum is doing, but it's still in play. You know, it's been in this box. It's fighting this downward trend line. It's above our inflection zone, bouncing off of it consistently, and we're coming to a head. And that head is going to be probably in the first couple weeks of July. So I would watch Bitcoin very carefully a couple weeks, first couple weeks of July. I think Ethereum is positioned very well. And I'm very optimistic in terms of price. I think in the short term, we should be able to get back to 2000. We got to break it, though, which is going to be the hard part because we got all the way back in August resistance there. We hit resistance here again in April. So next time we tap it, hopefully we break through and stay above 2000. And maybe we can move up into the mid 24 or 2500 range. Um, but we could ideally go all the way up to 3000. Just depends if we have the buy volume there. So money will have to come back to exchanges, which means some of this FUD will have to die down. Or DeFi and swaps will have to get so good that people are trading there. You know, one, one thing or the other will happen, but we're getting close. All right, guys, that's it for today. Uh, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you're watching this on YouTube, on Patreon, please share this with someone else you think that might be interested that might want to get this Monday through Friday. All right, guys, talk to you tomorrow. Cheers. <music>